Okay, so let's make a start. Thank you for coming for Friday Fives. Um, we're just going to have fun tonight. Um, please realise that this is a recording over Zoom and I can't see you with all your cameras. So I hope that you're fit and well. I hope your space is clear and just remind you that you're doing this at your own risk. Um, there are some moves that are quite high impact. Um, I'll be mainly showing the low impact, but if you can jump, then please jump and make it as aerobic or as high as you would like. So we'll just make a start and we just make a start. Wigo's going to be here tonight, so <laughs> he's gonna be there. So we'll just make a start, our usual way, nice big breath, just breathing in. Let's just bend our body down. When we go down, let's have a, a flat back that so we're just breathing and just letting it go, warming up the backs of our legs. See if we can breathe in through our nose and then just let it go. And as we get more warm, just let it go. Breathing in and then let it go. Let the week go. It's Friday, it's the weekend, so we can just have fun. That's good. Okay, and then over to the side, just sideways, try and fit, try and get height here and maybe just pointing your toe as we go side to side. Good, that's looking nice. Really stretch through, maybe do some single arms, just so you're getting that stretch through the sides. They may not have been working today. And then putting our arms, elbows high, and then opening our chest in and open. Can we do a foot as we open? So can our foot go in and out? Just mobilizing through the body. Everything is going wide. Yes, feel those chest open. Feel here going wide. Yes, get those elbows up high. Change sides, coming up back. Good. Yes. Good. Now, can we put our hands behind our backs and just release? So shoulders in, shoulders out. Shoulders in, shoulders out. Feel that release. And then bending down, keeping our hands in our buttocks, and then seeing will that just rise up a little? Can you lift your arms just a little? You may just want to lift wide or lift narrow. Just opening up those shoulders. Let's feel those hamstrings down the backs of our legs. Chest is high, shoulders are open. Okay, let's wake up our sides. So we're going into a wide squat. Hands, hands on our heads and just going side to side. If you can touch right the way down, that's good. In your squat, going sideways, you might prefer just to reach and reach. Yes, some people will have the elbows. If you're doing the elbows, that would be the full flexibility. Quite a deep stretch. You may not be there yet. We can come back to that as a stretch at the end. So just reaching. Good. Now, where is your squat? So we come up and we go down. We come up and we go down. We're going to do a tempo squat tonight, which is narrow and narrow. You're then going to go a little bit wider, a little bit wider, and then as wide as you can in two. So let's go in a little, in a little, feet together. One, two, going out a little. One, two, and out again. One, two. In a little and in together. And in the in together, you know you always have the option of going up and getting your heels to your bottom. So you can do a really high up and down when you're in. That would be one of our moves tonight that we haven't done before. Let's just move around our hips. For those of you who come late, I just go over what we're going to do. We're going to do two exercises and we're going to repeat them twice on a 30 second rotation. Um, we're going to do four exercises, four sets of those exercises, and then we're going to have a break, and then we repeat it. Change it up, hips the other way. And then we're going to do an accumulator where we add an exercise, and that will be eight minutes of total work. We're going to go down to the mat, and just lift our pelvis. So down, and we lift. Just waking up our backs, lifting, up high. Maybe tonight we go on tiptoes and lift. Go on the tiptoes and lift up high. Yes. Now, the back, the back squat, remember, 
your pelvis comes up. And one of our challenges could be to touch our toes. So you can just do it slowly. Just touch and release. Touch and release. And go for stability. Or you can do it faster. But I want you to be stable. I want you to keep your hips up. You may just go hand to knee. So you decide tonight, you could go straight leg and get that leg up higher. Or are you going to just go hand to knee? Or are you just going to hold this position? Lots of options. You don't even want to lift like that. You can just touch your knees. Let's just put our bottom down and twist and twist. Twist to one side, twist to the other side. We can just twist around, opening your chest and moving from the lower back all the way through, twisting, rotating. Okay, down flat and we roll. We roll to one side and we roll to the other side. Just rolling and rolling, using your core. And you all remember the Turkish get up. So that's when one arm and one leg goes in the air. We come up straight and we reach over. So this will be one of our exercises. So go down, come up and reach over. You've done this many times. So core is strong, you're straight. You reach up and then you go over and then you come back down. So let's change legs. The knee is up, the core is torn. Your shoulders are back and down. You reach up and you go over and then you roll back down. You reach up and you go over and you roll back down. Good. Now let's flop our legs from side to side in your 99, just mobilizing those hips. Once we start, we want everything warmed up. Okay, I just really want to undesk yourselves. So I want you just to look up in your plank position, looking up and coming back. Let's warm our back up, going forwards and back. Yes, we tuck in, we go back. You may have the same point, your option, your bottom goes right to your heel. Just warming that back up. And once we're on all fours, we're then just going to drop an arm through. So drop your arm, come up. Drop your arm, come up. Dropping the arm, coming up, and the other side. We drop and we come up. We drop and we come up. We drop and we come up. Come up onto your toes, nice high plank. You know your inchworm, you walk it in, and you come up. Okay, our first exercise is going to be the inchworm and then a press up. So an inchworm is nice and tall, you come down through your body, you go down to your press up, you can be knees on the ground, but try and do one press up, come back up, and then an inchworm. Okay, that's our first exercise. Our second exercise is just going to be a windmill. So it can be out and in. So the second exercise can be fast. So it can be as fast as you want, okay? That's our block, our first block. So we're going to go in 30 seconds, and our first exercise is going to be that inchworm, and then a press up. So let's get ready. And you're gonna do this really well tonight because I know you just wanna put your vitality into it. We go in 10 seconds. Let's just jog on the spot. Be ready. It's an inchworm, press up. And in five, four, three, two, one. Inchworm, down, press up. Come back, up. Inchworm, press up. Come back up. There you go. Down, press up, come back up. Walk it or run it. You can do it. Inchworm, press up. You're halfway. Really get that down. Solid plank. Bring it back up. Yes. Press up. Make sure those tricep dips. Make sure those arms are coming back. You've got five seconds. I'm liking that. Good dive. Well done. Get low to the ground. Up you come, windmills. Windmills, go straight away. Straight away, as fast as you can. Just 30 seconds. Then we go back to your inchworm, or you can be starring. That's absolutely fine. Come on. Can you clap? Make sure those hands are going high. 10 seconds. You've got it looking good. Breathing as you do. Inchworm, come on down. And press up. Press up. Come back up. Up you come, really good. Down, press up, 
turn, change sides. Up we go, turn. Yes, it's a fast one. Up and turn. That's 15 seconds. Yes, same arm, same leg. Up and turn. 10 seconds. Yes, you've got it. You've got it. Up and turn. Okay, we stand up and you're just going to jump from side to side. If you want to hop, you hop, you hop. Last exercise, then we rest. Okay, hopping. Yeah, or you can step and step. You can hop forward and hop back. Hop forward, hop back. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, bring it home. 10 seconds. Up and up and up. Sideways, 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 sideways. Turkish get up. Down you go. Down you go. Right leg, right arm. And you reach. Down, up, and reach. Come on. Last minute of this set. You can do this. You really can. So that's halfway. Have you changed sides? Come on. Whoa. Yes. Reach for the stars. Come on. Stretch through that body. Straight and turn. You've got it in five, in four, in three. Side, side hops. Ready. Last exercise is set. Side hops, side hops. One, two, three, four. Back, two, four. Up, two, three, four. Back. Hop, hop, hop. You can try one leg hops. It's up to you. We've got 15 seconds. Hop and hop and hop and hop and hop. Back and back and back and back. You can do this in five, four, three, two, and rest. Woo, there's a water stop. Well done. So catching your breath, we're going to do another set like that. Two exercises, repeat them twice. This is really good, going nice and aerobic. So our first exercise, really easy, is our curtsy and curtsy, okay? And then you're going to, as always, you then ski and ski, yes? Ice skate, ready? In three, two, one, curtsy. One side and then the other side. Just curtsy back. Yes, 30 seconds. You're there. Go let's make it. You can go down low. Go on, curtsy. Keep your hips square. Keep your chest high. Come on, keep your head up higher. I want it down. I want you to dip and come up. Dip and come up. You've got 10 seconds. Yes, even if you walk it, stabilize that knee. Come up. Stabilize that knee. Come up. And then you ski. Going sideways. Sideways. Sideways, come on, ice skate. Yes, yes. You've got it, we sky ice skate. Get low, come on. People are together, you've got to push on. You've got to go a little bit faster. 15 seconds. Yes, keep your bottom low. Can you keep your bottom lower as you ice skate? Keep low. Yes, swing those arms. And you're on your curtsy, so here we go. Curtsy and down. Curtsy. Yes, we do a jump in the middle. Jump. Yes. If you know the movement, or you can step it, make that body come up and down. Up and down. You go up and down, up and down. You've got 10 seconds. You've got it. Curtsy and curtsy. We're going down into the V now. Into the V shape. Touch your toe and back. Touch your toe and back. Touch your toe and back. Yes, you can do this. It's that nice V. Touching your toe and back for stability. And the next move, we're going to stay down there. And you can do single leg lifts, or you can do your air bomb, two legs in and out. Ready, and you go. So it's your single leg lift. And you change it halfway, or you're going to try some air bombs. Air bombs. Let's stay down in this shape. If you need to, you can just do your leg in and out. No impact on your elbows. 15 seconds. Just doing your raise. 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 Good. Here we go. Air bombs. Well, that's one second. Four, three, two, one. Touch your toe. Stay in your knee. Touch your toe. Touch your toe, back, touch your toe. Come on, quickly. 
Get that heart rate up. Let's see. Let's see that touch the toe. Then you're in your one leg raise. You've got 10 seconds touching your toes. Make it happen. Make it happen. Come on. You can. You can. Who's going to air bomb for 30 seconds? Or just one leg lift? Go. 30 seconds. Come on, I can see you, Sam. Come on, Claire, let's see your hair bombs. Come on, one, two, three, four, five. Go on, that's your rhythm. Otherwise, one leg lift, making it safe. You can do this, looking good, well done. Really good. Straight up. Now, hopscotch, 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 hopscotch. Woo, 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 woo. Go on, let's have some fun. Yes, I let go to the back, drag me back, we do this, yes, change legs, it goes that way, yes, there you go, make it fun, you've got it, then we're going to go into our side lunge and just swing, swing, up and swing, swing, and swing, and swing, and swing. Keep it low and go down. Bend those knees, the knees go over, your body swings from side to side. Yes, and yes. Have our back and that back arm go. Keep your head up, but go low with your bottom. Breathing well, hopscotch, here we go. Hopscotch, <laughs> come on, let's have fun. I'm doing one leg, and then the other leg. 15 seconds. Woo! Yes. Yes. Done. We're nearly there. We can stand the other side. There it goes. 15 seconds. Yes. You've got it. Okay. Um, that's your side lunge. Side lunge. Down and swing, swing and swing. Getting your breath back. Next one will be tempo squats and then your stars. So come on, a little bit of recovery. Swinging and swinging. Let's go low, let's go low. Swing and swing. You've got it in four, in three, in two, in one. So tempo, together, wider, wider. In a bit, time. Out and out, in and in, out and out, in and in. Remember, you can jump up if you want. Yes, 30 seconds in twos. Bum, 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 bum. You got it, tempo. Now, stars, down and up. Big, big star, 30 seconds. Down and star. You've got it. Lovely stars. I'm seeing you nice and wide. You can do a half star. Got one minute left of this. Come on. You can do this. Go on. It goes down. Star. 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 Anyone hitting their bottom? Let's see it. Tempo squats. Together. Wider. Wider. In. And in, wider, deep, in and in, wider and out, in and in, wider and wider, in and in. Come on, you got it? Go on, go low. How low can you go? Do it, do it. Yes, you got it. Last 30 seconds, stars. Come on, last 30 seconds, down and up. Yes. Well done, look at that, well done. Fantastic, some really good stars coming up. This is really good. 15 seconds, there's a rest after this. Come on, you haven't got off the floor, let's try one off the floor. Even if you only do one. Let's see, can your heels touch your bottom? Down and star, in five, in four, in three, in two, and one. You're resting, well done. Woo! That's a water stop. Catch 
catch your breath. So we're saying our first exercise, which we'll actually do quite a lot of, we'll do it eight times, but it's number, exercise number one, so I'll just show you, it's squat and squat and squat and squat, run back, run back. So it's four squats forward and run back. That's your first exercise. The second exercise will be long legs. Practice, can you do straight long legs? You can do that high impact. The next one is touch the inside of your feet. You can do that high impact. Duh, duh. Yes, jump into the inside of your feet. And your last one will be high knees. Okay, so we start with four squats, 30 seconds each, ready? Go, four squats, one, two, three, four, run it back. Come on, on. Yes, do this, yes. Yes, you can make them higher impact if you want. You go four stars like this. Up to you, wherever you want. We're coming back to this one a lot. You can do windmills. Go on, squat, 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 squat. Run it back. Yes, squat, squat, squat. Run it back. The first one, so repeat the first exercise. So you can do that again. Oh, yes, run it back. This time we'll add your own. At the end of the 30 seconds, you can do this. Squat, 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 squat. Run it back. Four, you can go lower. Run it back. Come on, run it back. Long legs, 30 seconds. Exercise two, yes. I want those legs up high, high. You can jump it. Well done, I'm seeing people jump. Keep it going. Pace yourself. This will be eight minutes of work. So let's have that leg straight. Let's lift those legs up. You've got it. Yes, yes. Underneath, four squats. On you go again. One, two, three, four. Run it back. Yes, you'll walk it. Walk it, you know, you're going four forward and you're coming back. Four forward and you come back. Come on, you can do it. One, two, three, four, and come back. You can keep your legs wide. Any alternative, come on. The same movement. Long legs are here, long legs, long legs. You've got it. It'll be over before you know it. You're halfway. We've done all of these before. The next one we add on is touching the inside of your heel. Inside of your heel. You can do it high impact. Ready, inside of your heel, go. Yes. It goes out, but comes up. Changing arms. Yes, good. You've got it. So we're on exercise three. So we need to go back to exercise one. We've got 15 seconds though. Come on, we work. We're climbing that hill. In five, in four, in three, in two squats. One, two, three, four. Run it back. Go on, one. You can do it any impact you like. You can walk it. Run it back. Come on, you can do it higher if you want. Go on, down, 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 down. Run it back. Come on. Long legs, long legs, 30 seconds. Come on. It's our pyramid up to four exercises. Be that tiller girl. Yes. Can you clap at the top and underneath? Woo! Yes. Bit of coordination there. You should be breathing. Five and four. Inside toes, straight away. Inside toes. Come on. Inside toes. Yes. Look at that. Go, Boo. It's brilliant. Go, Claire. Go, Golan. That's good. Really good. Really feel that waist working. Just that agility. 
stability. Then the last exercise to add on is high knees. It's running fast. Ready? Three, two, one. High knees. Run, run, run. Go on, up, 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 up. You do little. It's up to you. It's fast. You want to do little? That's fine. You want to do high knees fast? That's fine. You can march fast. Whichever you want to do, let's make it fast. Everybody, 15 seconds of this one. Let's go fast. Little fast, little fast. Go on. Bring it home. In five, in four, in three, in two. Squat for us. One, two, three, four. Exercise one. Come on. One. Do not stop. This is continuous. This is an accumulator. Accumulates the tiredness. You can do this when you're doing three exercises this time. So come on. You're going to go back to your high knees. Yes. Woo! Woo! Legs are led. That's okay. Long legs, long legs. Lift. Lift. 30 seconds. Come on. We can do this. You've got this. Make sure those legs are straight. Don't kick from the knees, it's from your glutes. 15 seconds. You can bring it down, you can bring it up. Wherever you are, it's a challenge. Lovely. You've got it. Now jump your back to one. Yes. Sorry, jumps. Woo! Sorry, I did a two that time, so we'll do a three this time. I can't let you miss one out. Back. Back. Long legs. Go on. We're breathing. Let's. Let's have our head high, let's have our chest high. Yes. Our core is automatically braced because we're tall, strong athletes. So we've done the two, but we didn't do the three. We're going to our third exercise, which is inside heels. Inside heels in two, in one, inside heels. Go on. Yes, inside heels. You've got it. You're bringing it home. Come on. One exercise left. That's exercise number one. We finished strong. 10 seconds. Now you decide. Here we go. Last time. 30 seconds. Yes. Run it back as quickly as you can. It's your last time. Yes, 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 yes. If you want to do four stars, you can do four stars. Yes, run it back. You've got 15 seconds. Let's see it. One, two, three, four. Run it back. Woo two more. One, two, three, four. Run it back. Woo Last time. Run it back. Oh, finish. Woo! Well done. Excellent. That's a full eight minutes of work. So really, really good. So I'm going to do the next theme on boxing. Okay, the same. We do one exercise, we add two exercises, three exercises, four, and we come back down. 30 seconds each exercise. I'm going to give you 30 seconds rest. Just to remind you, boxing sideways, or one, two, three, hook, run it back. One, two, three, hook, run it back. Okay, and then it's gonna be up, up, down and weave, down and weave, up and up, down and weave, down and weave. And then your last one is going to be down and kick, down and side kick. Side kick comes from your hips. Ready, boxing, as fast as you can. Ready, go. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Come on, use your waist. Turn each time, turn and turn and turn. Use that knee, use that foot. Come on, rotational. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. 
15 seconds. We slowly build it. Can that foot twist each time? Twist and twist and twist, twist and twist. Okay, another 30 seconds. Go slower this time. Twist and twist. Let's get it right. Get it tall. Boom, 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 boom. Feel that core strong each time. Yes, yes. You can add one next time. Whoa, yes. You know what your number one is. It's this movement. Make sure if you go fast, the foot still moves. So that's why we do it slow. Get the movement right. Get the body in. Crimp and kick. Yes. Now, right arm. One, two, three. Hook, bring it back. Or one, two, three. Hook, bring it back. We do 15 seconds each arm. Hook, bring it back. Come on, thump, thump, thump. Hook, bring it back. Come on, in. Hook. Come on. Are you knocking me out? Yes. Come on. Change side. Hook. Come on, thump, 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 thump. Bring it back. Thump, 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 thump. Hook. Yes, sideways. Hook. Okay, back to your boxing. Box, 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 box. Go on, you can do it slow, you can do it fast. Make sure those feet move. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Move that body, move those hips. Hip, hips, don't let them drop. Keep your torso tall. Shoulders are down. When we hit and hit. We add on a third exercise. Back to number two. One, two, three, hook. Ready, go. One, two, three, hook. Bring it back. Hook. Come on, thumpers, hook. Hook. Yes, you've got it. Come on, put that whole body weight in. Put the weight in for it. Change sides. Ready? Hook. Come on. Make it determined. Whoa! Bring that hip into it. Yes, you've got it. Now upper cross, upper, upper, bargain weave, bargain weave, upper, upper, down and weave, down and weave, upper, upper, duck and weave, upper, upper. You've got it, duck, up, down and weave, down and weave. Whoop, whoop. You've got it up and up. Come on, on the chin. Ah, ah. Yes, you can. And up, up and weave. Yes, you're coming to your singles. Here we go, singles, number one, exercise number one, go. Yes, 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 yes. Turn, 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 turn. Turn, 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 turn. How fast can you go? Make those feet move. Boom, boom, boom. We'll go slower and make it more definite. Up to you. We're coming up to our fourth exercise on this add-on. The second exercise comes here, right hand. One, two, three, hook, come back. Hook, come back. Hook, come back. Hook, yes, come on, make it purposefully. Change sides. Hook, come back. Hook, come back. Hook, come back. Hook, come back, Hook, come back. you got it? Last time, okay. Upper, upper, duck and weave, duck and weave. One, two, duck and weave, duck and weave. Up and up, down and down. Up and up. Up and up. You've got it? Yes, you have. Down and down. Up and up. We're adding on the fourth. It's your side kick. Up and up. Up. And up, down, and kick. Doing one leg at a time, kick, down, kick. 15 seconds each side. How high can you get? Yes, yes, come on. One more that side, here we go. Change sides, change sides. We'll keep alternative, down, kick high. Kick with that leg. That's a bit two minutes. Now, single, single, so exercise one. Come on. We're going down that pyramid. Let's go. Maybe you can do it slow and definite. Let's make those punches count. 
Turn that body, turn that body, even if you're doing it fast. Ready, it's right hand. One, two, three, hook, ready, go. One, two, three, hook, bring it back. Hook, come on, woo, yes. Whoa, bring it back. Whoa, let's make a count. Whoa, change sides, left hand. Hook, which is your better hand? So right hand hook, left hand hook. Come on, use your body, turn as you hook. Yes, you've got an uppercut, 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 down and down, up and up, duck and weave, up and up, up and up. Yes, you've got it. Come on, with my tagging, up and up. Strong and strong. Make the end solid. You're getting that force through your body. Yes. Up and up. You're back to number one in a second. Down and down. Number one, go. Come on. Minute and a half left. Go on, you can take this away. Let's twist. Go on, move those hips. Move those hips on a Friday night. Knock them out, come on. Get rid of all that stress. We go, we go, we go, we go. Du, 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 du. Come on, more, more, more. Go on, make that waist, waist work. So we just have one and two. So two is right hand. One, two, three, hook. Back, back, back. It's your last time doing this. Make it good. Are you gonna knock them out? With purpose. Yes. Let's believe in you. <sighs> Winners and losers. <sighs> yes, change sides. Oh, is my right hand as good on that hook? Yes. Go on. Lead with the left, hook with the right. Yes. Your last 30 seconds. Come on. This is you home, home, home. Go on. On that ball. Twist and turn, twist and turn. Yes, yes, yes. Are those feet turning? Come on, how fast can you go? Bring it home. 15 seconds, let's go. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go. Bring, bring this home. Bring it home in five and four and three and two and one. Woo! I think that's the heart rate up. <laughs> well done. That's all your aerobic work done. Just going to do a little bit of agility and then we'll stretch. Really excellent. Okay, just going to come down. We're just going to move our backs, getting our backs straight again. We're going to pull in and out, in and out. Pull your back in and release out, catching your breath in and out, fixing your shoulders. Let's get those shoulders back. We bring them in, we pull them out. We breathe in, we breathe out. Let's hold it in. And then stretch it out, looking up. Okay, from there, I'm keeping it standing today. From there, we're then just gonna go over to the one side. Let's just rest and stretch low. So from there, let's lean to begin with. Change, moving to the other side. It's a different position. And this time I just want you to lock on the inside of the leg so your hand locks and I want you to stretch tall. I want you to be tall and go over and just allow your arm to come to your ear nice and tall. But just lock. See if you can breathe into this side of your chest. Coming up tall into a five star. Power in your fingertips, power in your knees going out, nice and tall. Then we're gonna bend our knees, bring our feet in, and we're gonna push out. You can hold a static hold. So hopefully your back is straight, your bottom is tucked in, and you're just holding all those muscles. Static isometric, just hold it there. Gather your breath, breathing in and breathing out. Keep those knees apart, keep that chest high, 
Keep those shoulders down, those hands out. And if you can hold that, I want you just to lift the toe up. If you need to put your hands down, you can put your hands down. So wherever you want to be, lift that toe, sorry, heel up, heel up and down, heel up and down, heel up and down, heel up and down. Now, can you bend one knee in at a time, but keep your hips straight. Just within your range, if you need to come up a little and just cross over, that's fine. If you can do it low, that's a little bit harder. But I want that knee to come in. We push it out, so I want it to come in. And then the other side, it may be low, but can it come in? Keep your hips square, keep your shoulders square if you can, and those arms there. Try each side again. In. You're using your glute, you're internally rotating your hip if your hips are square. And then back and then the other side. In and back. Okay, coming over. I need to stretch this way. So this time we're going tall and we're just coming over. So stretching through. We're binding our hand with our knee and stretching through. We're going to come down. I think we're all getting good at this. I want to put it into our circuit next week. So you're in your plank and your leg is going to come wide of your hand. See what you've got there. Just move it around. Move the knee around in a circle, moving your back leg. It's whatever option you have. The foot is wide of the hand. If it doesn't quite reach the hand, don't worry, just put it out. And moving that knee out. And then we're going to go for our shoulder opener. So the far hand comes in, the hand by the foot comes up. We open. And we look at our back hand. Then the top hand comes down and the front hand opens. Well, the hand can actually go on your waist. If lifting your arm is a bit stiff, then put, put it on your waist, but try and open the shoulder. Try and open that shoulder backwards. And then just go square and allow everything to settle by looking up. Shoulders are back, looking right the way up. Coming back into your down pose your resting pose, changing sides. So the other leg goes wide of that hand. And you're just going to explore that mobility. You can explore, do you need to put your knee down or can the back leg keep straight? It's quite nice sometimes to have the back leg straight so you're stretching the back leg out. Let's rotate that hip round on the front. The hand nearest the foot comes away, it opens up. Try and keep your body away from resting on your leg. Try and just open backwards. Using your inhale and exhale to allow the body to settle. And that hand comes down. And as I said before, you don't have to raise it up. You can just pop it behind and rest the hand on the back of your hip. And then just look backwards, or that hand can be up. The arm can be up, whichever way is more comfortable. And from there, we're going to put two hands forward and come into your frog pose, which is seated with your legs open, with your knees wide, sitting nice and tall, and pull yourself up. And I want you to pull one leg out and the other leg can rest wherever it is. It gives you more of a chance to go down sideways. If you have it and you can go both legs and you feel comfortable, then please just go down and rest in your down position. Tonight I'm just going to teach it going single legs down, a little bit easier. 
So your elbow goes down the leg and you're just coming over. And then the other arm comes up and points towards the toe. Again, you may just want it behind. Wherever you want to go, it's your stretch. Then we change that, but I want you height in your abdomen, your shoulders to the back. I want you just to go down, hands out the side of that leg, pulling your toe up and aiming to go down. It's much better to keep height in your abdomen than to curl. Let's have height in our abdomen, our shoulders are back. And if it's only a little way, that's where you are tonight. It doesn't matter. I want you to pull that knee down. I want you to pull that hip back into the socket. So I'm on my right leg. You may be on your left, it doesn't matter. Let me bring that hip in that leg in, and we go down wide with the other leg. And again, the elbow comes in and you just go down. That arm can come up and you're just getting a stretch through your side. Or the arm can come behind if you want to open the shoulder. But binding the back of your hand to the leg that's long. And then bringing both hands up they go down either side of the leg. Again, just changing your sit bone so you're nice and even. That leg is, is going out to the side and you're just going downwards with a little bit of a twist. But you're tall, you're not curly. You're keeping it tall, you're bringing that toe back. You're looking at height in your abdomen. You're looking at enough space so you can fill your lungs even if you are bending down. And we all join people who are down wide, but we may not get very low. So both legs are wide and you can hold on to your ankles and just go down as far as you can. You can use your bind if you want to. Just going down, down, down. Try and keep your head up. You can rock and roll on your hips. It's okay. Where's your comfortable position? Your comfortable position maybe with your hands in front of you, pulling your shoulders back. Whatever is comfortable for you. And then we're going to go onto our tummies. Sorry, onto our sides first. We're going to pull our leg back. Just that quadricep stretch. And we're going to look backwards at the same time. Again, you may want to drop the knee, you may want to raise the knee, you may want to pull that leg backwards and then you get more of a hip flexor stretch as well. Then you're going to come down to your tummy and you're just going to push yourself up, looking back. You may want to just rest on your elbows stretching the front of your abdomen. Just stretch through the front of your abdomen. And then rolling over, grabbing hold of the other leg, the other foot, pulling that knee back. Maybe open. It's up to you, wherever you want it to be. And we roll over onto our backs. It's time for our legs to be in the air and just allow all the blood to drain downwards. Allow you to be conscious of your breathing. Pull the toes down. Just going to do my cross so my ankle goes on my knee. And I can pull that leg in at the same time. My hands go on my calf. Only if you have it, if it feels comfortable. Changing sides, one straight leg, one cross leg, and pull that in. 
Alternatively, you can just roll your hips from side to side and push that knee away. Just going to give you a minute. If you want to go right the way up, then you can. If you want to go over your head, then you can. You know if it's safe to do so with your back. Maybe unsafe for other people. So having your legs in the air, that's absolutely fine. Just allowing the blood to come down, allowing your body to slow. If you have been right the way over, we all join by bringing our knees to our chest and just bringing our head in, curling forward and then going down into our restful pose. Our feet are straight, our feet just relax open, our shoulders we wriggle them so they're just flat on the mat and our hands are open just to absorb the energy that we've used tonight. To allow the muscles and the fascia just to settle. Just taking time to breathe well. When we inhale, we go down to the bottom of our chest. Our chest goes out and wide. And as we exhale, we're still moving our lower ribs. Our diaphragm moves. Our tummy moves. See if you can inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. If it's hard, allow your mind to be empty. Allow your mind to be on your breath. By inhaling, you can just count into your four, maybe count into your eight. Holding on to that breath, then gently letting it go, letting it go, letting it go. Inhale, throw your troubles away. And exhale. And remember, you can think of happy things. Look at the wonderful pictures there are of the snow. There's an amazing nature film of the stoats up north yesterday and the barn owls. Footprints in the snow. Gathering your strength, and thinking those flowers just about to break through and make us happy. Hear the birds singing. We've got so much to talk about. Mm. Wonder what they're saying. Can we become conscious of our fingers? Can you play a tune with your fingers? Can your toes move? Can your ankles go round in a circle? Bringing your knees up, and just slowly rolling your knees from side to side. And rolling onto your right side, coming up to seated. Just gathering all that air in, coming up through your center, and just allowing yourself to be. Big breath in. Letting it go, letting it go, let it flow away. Last time, big breath in. Let's just try and smile. Let's raise our spirits. And wow, congratulate yourself on a great class. Well done, you.